I often get questions asking why FreeBSD has such an old version of GNOME 3, and for a while it was true, but now things have changed. GNOME 3.38 is being released, and I'm going to have a look. I'm just going to do a bit of installation and prep work on my test machine before we get going. Here I am just installing GNOME 3, setting a few configurations in the rc.conf, editing my xorg.conf. Yes, I still use that. I still prefer to use that. And finally, start X. And if all goes well, boom, there he goes. Now, I'm not a great user of GNOME 3. I, I think that the last time I used GNOME on a regular basis when it was still GNOME 2. Um, but we'll have a look here. Okay, on first inspection, uh, we get a panel on the left-hand side. We have a few uh, pre-installed applications. Um, I think by pre- yep, that's right. I seem to remember this uh, almost like touch-like uh, GUI, really. Um, with some pre-loaded uh, applications. Some games. And one or two things that I added myself. Uh, let's have a look at uh, weather. Okay, well, I don't know what that's meant to look like, but it looks like maybe it's um, glitched out a bit, or maybe it's right, I don't know. I don't know anywhere in the United Kingdom that looks like that, so um, I'm going to try... Nah, I won't bother. We'll have a look at somewhere else. Hopefully things go a little bit better than that. And there's the browser, which is uh, Epiphany, I think. Well, it was last time I used GNOME. Ah, look, in the Google title it says Epiphany, yeah, that's how it is. We're going to test it out looking on, uh, for YouTube. You can guess which channel we're going to have a look at. And, any time now. Yeah, the slowness is down to my test machine not being, um, <laughs> not being the fastest in the world. Also, my internet is pretty bad. There it is. I uh, went for the video to start playing. Whenever it feels like. Not gonna play. Uh, okay, I'll just scroll. Oh, that's typical. But anyway, yeah, it seems to render it fine. Just a little bit slow. And I'll close that. What else can we look at? The uh, calendar. Yeah, it's pretty bland. Hard to read actually. What else have we got? Uh, photos. Uh, of course, there's nothing there because I've just installed it. Um, hmm. Have a look at uh, the file. Okay, the file browser. That's well, pretty standard. None of this is grabbing my attention yet. I mean, like I said, I'm not a great. GNOME 3 uh, user, so, you know, there's a clock. I, that looks pretty good. So I put London, uh, all right. Didn't know there were so many different Londons in the world. Okay, I'll put the United Kingdom, of course. Very good. Um, oh, is that all it does? You have to excuse my ignorance of this. Uh, let's look at the backgrounds. Okay, nothing too inspiring there. What else can we find? Calculator, well, oh, it's pretty good. Um, what else? Chess, very nice. Actually looks and feels um, a bit Mac-like, actually. I don't know if that's the intention. What else can we put on? Uh, Firefox? No, this is one that I installed um, off-camera. Okay, so that's basic Firefox. Uh, very nice so far. What else? And... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of LibreOffice. So this is the typical things that you'd be firing up on your uh, desktop session anyway, I think. Uh, 
I'm just zooming the page. Type in the obligatory uh, hello. And make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Um, yeah, not a massive selection of fonts. I'll just leave it as it is. And there you go. Uh, yeah. Is it when it zooms out like that? I think it's called expose on the on the Mac. I'm not sure. System monitor. Now the system monitor is uh, it aggregates the memory uses. So even though it's saying 2.5 gigabytes used, it's it's really not that much. But you know, it is it's norm. I remember when norm used to be uh, lighter than KDE, but now I think the roles have been reversed. I think KDE now is uh, is not bad at all. Have a look at the uh, the backgrounds again. No, we had a quick look last time. Um, yeah, I kind of like that one. Change it. There you go. And these all settings on the left hand side. It's kind of interesting. You go to look at the backgrounds, and you get a a big menu on the left hand side. Seems a bit wasteful to me. Okay, there's your uh, clock and calendar. Ah, right. So that's where the London one goes. Very good. The one that we changed earlier. So yeah, um, what else? Anything else we can look at? Mm. Settings again. See, when you change the background, you've got a settings, you get the same pop-up windows. A little bit, I don't know. And there we go. Uh, norm 3.38.0 at the bottom there. Very nice indeed. So for those who are asking why does FreeBSD such, have such a uh, an old version of Norm? Well, now you know that we have the latest. It just took a bit of time to the uh, for the maintainers and developers to untangle it from System D, but they've done a good job so far. So thank you very much, and thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.